But here's what fascinates me most. <laughs> Tesla actually filed patents for UK compliant lighting systems and they didn't use them, unfortunately. So let's talk about why. Retrofitting compliant lighting wouldn't just mean new bulbs. You see, we're talking about a structural modification to the entire front and rear sections. And the estimated cost, you're talking about around 15,000 per vehicle. That's 15,000 pounds. And that's assuming you can even modify that steel body. And speaking of steel, Tesla's VP proudly announced they're using 30X cold rolled stainless steel, which sounds pretty impressive, right? But here's the problem. In an actual crash, you don't actually want your car to be as, as rigid as a tank. So for those of you that are science nerds, let me break it down. A normal car's body is designed to crumple like an accordion, absorbing impact packed energy. Tesla's 30X steel is about three times harder than the standard automotive steel. Now in the UK, that's not a feature, it's a fundamental safety issue, unfortunately. Now, should automakers have the freedom to push design boundaries or should safety regulations be the ultimate priority? Let me know in the comments below. And also, what's your experience with vehicle safety features? Do you know anything about it? If you do, let me know in the comments. So just watch this demonstration. You see, standard automotive steel deforms under specific pressures but the Cybertruck steel it resists deformation until a catastrophic failure and in crash test terms this means instead of absorbing energy it transfers it directly to the passenger compartment but the thing is UK safety standards have specific requirements for how a vehicle structure should behave in a collision and this is based on decades and I mean decades of safety research and the Cybertruck's exoskeleton design it essentially throws that playbook out of the window. And here's the real kicker. Tesla actually knows this. But you know what? Between you and me, I don't think they were ever looking to market the Cybertruck in the UK. You see, internal documents show that they considered a more compliant steel composition, but rejected it for aesthetic reasons. And I can see why, to be fair. The steel choice wasn't just about strength. It was about making a statement. That's what they wanted to do in real terms, just, just make a massive statement. But in the UK market, that statement roughly translates to, sorry, we're not street legal. And do you remember that weight number that I mentioned earlier? The Cyberbeast model hits 6,898 pounds, that's 3.1 tonnes. And if you're wondering, here's why this matters. In the UK, if you pass your driving test after 1997, you need a special licence to drive anything over 3.5 tonnes. But wait, I hear you say, 3.1 tonnes is under 3.5, right? Well, <laughs> that's before you add passengers' cargo on that massive steel trailer Tesla promotes. One family trip to Cornwall and you're potentially driving illegally. Now let's talk about what happens when you combine that mass with instant torque. You see, the Cybertruck can hit 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. That's supercar territory in something that weighs more than two Honda Civics.